Hi and welcome to this online training video for Automation Studio. In this video, we'll be looking at how to insert dynamic measuring instruments and how to insert measuring instruments for a hydraulic circuit. The circuit we'll be using is this one, so a basic hydraulic circuit with a hydraulic motor which powers a wheel on which we're going to apply some resistive torque. So we can start simulation and there you see if we launch the wheel forward there's not much information we can get out of this circuit apart from the high pressure in red and the low pressure in blue so one tool we have to extract data out of our circuit is the dynamic measuring instruments which can be found in the simulation tab under the measuring section there are three main categories of dynamic measuring instruments the first one is for a component. So we could select the motor, for example. So you click and drag. And then you can choose which property you want to display. You want to display the acceleration, the input flow, or pressure, the output pressure, or the radial speed. We'll be using the radial speed here. And then you can select the precision, the number of decimals you want to show. So we'll stick with none, so more or less 1 RPM. And now you see minus 1196 RPM. The minus signs only reflects the direction of rotation. As if I go reverse, we'll have a positive. You see, as I increase my torque, the speed goes down. Second category is the node measuring instrument. So in this one, you can record properties on any node that you have on your circuit. You can record either pressure, density, temperature of viscosity. So we'll take two of them to measure pressure in our circuit. Note that if you want to move one measuring instrument afterward, you have to grab the handle that's slightly beside the label. Here again, as I change my torque, you see the pressure is changing accordingly. And finally, there's the differential measuring instrument. That one measure the pressure difference in between two nodes. So let's measure pressure last in the motor. If you want to plot any of those properties, the way to do so is when you open its window here, see that's the record uh, checkbox so once you record the property you'll see the record blinking onto it then you'll be able to drag them onto the, the plotter so let's change the torque now Now that we have some data, we can stop simulation, open the plotter, and drag the measuring instruments as we would drag any component onto the plotter so we can see the different variables. Here we got the radial speed in green, we got the differential pressure in yellow, and the pressure on our system in teal. So those dynamic measuring instruments are one way of extracting data out of our circuits. Another way is by inserting actual measuring instruments. To do so, we we'll have to go in the uh, in our hydraulic library under measuring instruments, and as usual, you you'll get all the most commonly used components in the bottom section. You can also expand and browse for extra details. And in here, there are two main categories. 
the mechanical measuring instruments and the hydraulic ones. You can recognize the mechanical ones by their mechanical shafts on each side. You see there are both those lines. And then the hydraulic ones only have one line or two here for a differential measuring instrument. So let's insert the pressure gauge. A flow meter. A good way to proceed while inserting a component on an existing line is to hold down the shift key. It will automatically connect or disconnect the component from your circuit. You see here that both connection ports are black, which means it's correctly connected. Then we'll take the mechanical multi gauge which is the combination of the tachometer, the torque indicator, and the power gauge. So holding shift, I can disconnect my wheel. I can rotate my component going in the edit tab, under position, and then rotate. If you want to change the displayed units, can double click on the component and here change all the units you want. So let's make this HP. RPM is fine. And let's go foot pound. We can change here to gallons per minute and here for PSI. Depending on which standard you are using, the by default units will be different, either the metric system or the imperial one. Now we can go back to simulation. As I start my wheel, you notice that without any resistive torque, I need 170 PSI or having an 1190 RPM speed developing about 2 HP. Our flow is about 31 and a half gallon per minute. And as I increase my torque, see the speed going down and the power increasing 25 HP now and the pressure in my system as well. Thanks for watching this online training video for Automation Studio. We invite you to watch the other videos and we'd like to thank you for your time.